Hey, you looking to use your spiritual authority today? Man, you just clicked on the right video. Let's get right into it. What's up to everybody? Luke 10, 19 says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing shall harm you. I'm going to say it one more time. Luke 10, 19 says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. So here we truly understand that we have authority over the enemy through Christ. Okay. So what I want you to do is utilize your spiritual authority right and like i always say whatever you practice you become good at just like shooting free throws right the more you shoot the more you're comfortable with shooting free throws the more you speak the word right the more you walk in this thing the more confident you become the more likely you are to lead someone else in that direction why because you're used to it because you practice it because you pretty much do it every day okay so it's very important that you understand the authority that you have through Christ. Okay? In an NFL game, here you have a referee who's may, who's maybe 5 foot 2 at the most, right? 5 foot 2, 140 pounds. A referee and you have a defensive lineman. The defensive lineman, let's say is about 6 foot 8, right? About 320 pounds. After a bad play call, the defensive lineman goes and stands up next to the referee and starts yelling at him, trying to intimidate him, like trying to, you know, trying to scare him, trying to spook him. And this little five foot one referee looks way up at him. The defensive lineman starts to growl at him, you know, start to kind of flex his muscles a little bit, trying to intimidate him. And this little bitty referee pulls out his flag and throws it out. Oh, man, penalty on the play. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. This man has authority. It don't matter his height. He could be four foot zero. He has authority. He has that flag in his pocket. And the defensive lineman literally can do nothing. Why? Because he has the authority over him. He may try to intimidate him. He may try to spook him. But deep down, he's like, man, I hope he don't pull that flag out on me. And what I'm trying to tell you is the enemy will try to bully you. He, he, he'll try to intimidate you. He'll even try to pick on you. But when you pull that flag out, that flag is Christ in, Je look, in Jesus' name. When you pull that in Jesus' name out, oh, man, look, you have authority through Christ because you are saved okay so i want you to utilize your spiritual authority today you got to take control over some things right you got the power today i want to remind you of that you got that flag in your back pocket if something ain't right pull that thing out man pull that thing out all right never forget that now on the field, you're going to see some ugly things going on. Some things may even scare you. They're going to challenge you. Right? But guess what? You got that flag, man. But the question is, will you use it? You're going to see some things on the field. Right? You're going to have to pray over some people. You're going to have to pray for some things. You're going to have to stand in the gap for some things. Make sure you use your flag in Jesus' name. Because that's where all the power is. We can do nothing in and of ourselves. We need the power. We need the help. Okay. So remember Luke 10, 19. I've given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions. And overcome all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall harm you. You have an amazing day today. Love you. I'll see you soon.